Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Ramesh Srikantha. I am a consultant neurosurgeon, head of spine services at Astra CMI Hospital, Bangalore. Uh, I have done my MCS neurosurgery from Nimans and after that I have finished my fellowship in minimal invasive science spine surgery from South Korea. Uh, so we do a lot of minimally invasive surgeries. Most of the spine surgeries that we do in our hospital are done through small incisions either with a tubular retractor or by an endoscopic method. A uh, 55 year old male who came with uh, progressive weakness of all the four limbs and uh, you know he was not able to walk. When he came to the hospital he was almost uh, wheelchair bound. Uh, his MRI was showing a large, uh, almost a giant tumor which was measuring around 5 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 4 centimeters in the region of the C2, that is the upper part of the neck, just below the skull. Uh, and it was causing significant compression on the spinal cord, uh, which was responsible, of course, for his weakness. So, tumors of this large size, that is more than 4 centimeters, we call them as giant tumors within the spinal cord. Uh, so, this tumor was approached with a minimally invasive method wherein we went put in a small tube, uh, 22 millimeter to be precise, we put in a 22 millimeter tube into the region of the tumor without causing any muscular disruption. We just create a track through the muscles and go, go directly to the site where the tumor is there and then we were able to remove the tumor completely. Uh, the post-op MRI was showing complete re removal of the tumor and the incision size was hardly 2.5 centimeters. Uh, the patient of course made gradual recovery after the surgery and uh, now he is able to walk without the support. So this, this has got uh, multiple unique features. Number one because tumors in this particular area are diagnosed relatively early. Usually the size of the tumors that we see in this region are hardly 2 or 3 centimeters in size, number one. Now this patient of course had neglected, neglected his symptoms in the earlier stage and he, he presented to us in a very late stage where he was almost wheelchair bound, he was not even able to walk and the tumor was pretty large in size, almost 4 to 4.5 centimeters in size. The second unique feature is that this was operated by a minimally ac minimal access fashion with a small tube that is around 22 millimeters in size and uh, uh, to remove a four, four and a half centimeter size tumor through the small tube in this particular region uh, is, is, a, is an uphill task. And this was accomplished successfully by our team and, and the patient is of course doing well.